Hello, good day to everybody. Here we have the deck off of my late 60s, early 70s snapper mower. I'm going to replace the spindle on it. Here's the rest of the mower. If somebody could tell me the actual date on this thing, I would love to know it. Please leave me in the con leave me a comment or email me or something. There's the serial number tag. I don't know if that helps anyone or not. But if somebody would happen to know how to date this thing, I would love to know it. Oh, by the way, I'm aware of the, the engine codes on these engines. But 2014 doesn't really do me much good. This lawnmower's been... This is at least the third engine on this lawnmower. I apologize for starting this video halfway through the project. But if I would have videoed the whole thing, it would have had several choice four-letter words. And it wouldn't have been suitable for children, old people, or anyone for that matter. But anyways, to get to this point, what we did, we removed the deck from the lawnmower, which is two chains, and there's a bar that goes between these two to connect it at the front, and pulled the pulley, pulled the belt, put it back on just so I don't lose it, and attempted to remove this nut off of here, which is severely stuck. If you do this project... Take the deck off of your lawnmower, take it to the nearest garage or the nearest person with an impact, and gladly pay them the 5 or $10 I want to zip that sucker off because you're not going to get it off. This is the second one of these I have done. The first one I took to the garage, not a problem. This one I figured I would do myself. Well, several hours, several cuss words, and the majority of a disc on my angle grinder it's apart finally. So, we're going to start disassembling this the rest of the way. And, and at the end of the video, I'll document putting it back together. So you'll know how it come apart if you decide to do yours on your own. But anyways, now that we're to this point, the band brake has got to come off for the spindle. Be sure to keep up with your washers. I'm not sure if these are original. They could have been stuck on there at some point. This lawnmower is older than Methuselah and has had several jerry rigs done to it. That's why I'm in the spindle. It was welded back together, crooked, so it doesn't cut nearly as well as it ought to. Okay, now we're down to that point. We're going to have to disconnect this spring and disconnect this band brake. And I'll do that. I'll need both hands for that, and I'll be right back. Okay, now I have my band brake off and my springs, and I went ahead and disconnected the spring from here. So now we're ready to pull this assembly here, the pulley, off of here. It's held on by a snap ring, which is greasy and nasty down in there. But I believe you can see one of the ears right there so we'll get our snap ring pliers into the hook I'm going to try to do this one handed but I'm not making any promises the last thing is so damn greasy and take your snap ring pliers squeeze her out Lose a hold of it. Grab it again. Got it started. It moved. Let me pause this. I'm going to need both hands. Okay, I'm back now. Now I've got my snap ring off, as you can see here. Snap ring pliers are the trick. If you don't have them, you can sometimes use a pick and pick one side up and kind of wedge it and pick up the other side and use screw, a couple of flat blade screwdrivers to work it up and off. That's how I did the last one, but snap ring pliers are your friend, especially a strong pair. Back to over here. Now, 
I disconnected all the springs earlier and the snap ring is off so this should just lift right up off of here as you can see we lift it up and set it to the side now I have another snap ring staring at me right there let's see if I can get that one with one hand show y'all how that works you can see where I was cutting on it with a grinder to get the pulley a nut off I had to cut everything off with the grinder if you do this project get air tools and zip that nut off that's the only way to do this even if the garage charges you ten dollars to zip that nut off it's worth every penny now let's see if I can get this other snap ring off of here Line the holes up, just like that. Give her a good squeeze. Of course, it'll want us. They're always a pain. I hate snap rings, but the pliers do make it easier. Well, yeah, that one corner's being a blankety blank. I think I got him out of the groove now. Let's try to work him up a little bit more even here. I got a flat blade screwdriver. Yeah, I'm out of the groove now. I think I might still be in it back. So let's get back on the sucker again. Even with the snap ring pliers, these things are still a pain in the butt. There we go. There's the other snap ring. We got that one off there. Now, I don't think there's another snap ring on the bottom. But we'll find out in a few minutes. Now what I've got to do, if you can see, hidden under here, you got these bolts here, 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 over there, all the way around this spindle, on the back side too, under here. I'm going to pull them bolts, and hopefully the whole assembly will come out the bottom at that point. I don't think there's another snap ring under here, but we will find out. I will be back. Finally, the old spindle is out. This thing has fought me every way it possibly could. But anyways, let's recap here. Here was my problem. If you can get it to focus on this. But anyways, I don't know how well you can see that. But this bolt stripped on me. So I had to fight it the whole way out by wedging against this flange here and the deck with this screwdriver. And I also learned something interesting today. Harbor Freight screwdriver handles are hollow inside. Imagine that. See, it's a Pittsburgh from Harbor Freight. They've been pretty good screwdrivers up to this point. Till I hit it with a hammer to wedge it. But she's hollow in the center. Anyways. That's a part. As you can see there's. There's bolts all the way around this flange. The bolt to the deck in here. Let's see if I can get a good shot of all the bolts. Just bolts and nuts. See over there's my bolts and nuts. Good thing I have an extra one, because I'm going to need it, thanks to that blankety blank. Motherfucker. But yeah, I've spent, it took me 45 minutes to back that out, and it was dropping metal shavings the whole time. Anyways, I'll grab new parts out, and we'll start putting this thing back together. Be back in a little bit. Okay, now back to it. 
Went through my new parts, got my new parts laid out. Same new band brake, new pulley because I had to cut the old one off. New spacer because the spacer isn't made into the new style pulley. Here's my new deck spindle. By the way, this discontinued. If you've got one of these ancient lawn mowers, you'll probably have to take your old one apart and rebuild it. I believe all the parts are available, but it's not available as an assembly anymore. Now here's the old one we took off, right here. I'll show you why we're getting rid of this. If I can get it the right angle here and spin it, you can see how bent this thing is. It's also a crack in it. it goes all the way through. It's been broke off, re-welded, and cracked again. So needless to say, this lawnmower cut like shit because this was not straight. So anyways, out with the old and with the new. There it went. Motherfucker. Okay, now to start, it's quite simple. We're back where we started. It goes back the same way it come apart. All I'm going to have to do is lift this deck up, shove it up through the bottom, and put my, my bolts and my nuts. I don't think these washers are original. They don't show up on the snapper parts site. I'm assuming these have been stuck in here over the years, probably to compensate for the cracked flange on the old one. So I'm not going to use washers. As you can see, I have a new bolt and a new nut to replace the one that stripped out on me. So we'll get to it. All we got to do is slide it back through the bottom. And I'm going to tighten these six nuts down. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I have the new spindle mounted. As you can see, I'm missing a couple of bolts. The bolts go in from the top this way. They go in from the top. Nut goes on the bottom from the underneath the deck. I had two more bolts strip on me, as you can see. So I'm going to have to locate a couple more of these before I can go any farther. Hopefully I've got a couple of these at the garage that I can use. Anyways, we'll be back. Okay, I'm back again. I ended up finding a couple of bolts that were a size smaller. You can see this one's a little bit smaller than the other one. And I put lock washers on these because the originals have lock nuts. Those don't. So now I'm ready to start reassembling this thing. So we're going to start with the snap rig. Which of course the snap rings. Are always a pain in the ass. I don't care how you do it or what you do, they are a pain in the ass. Anyways, I'm gonna need two hands for that, so I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I got my snap ring in. Make sure you get it in the lower groove. See, there's an upper groove, there's a lower groove it's sitting in. So now. My pulley assembly can go back on. And it faces towards the back, just like that. And that spring goes to here. The band brake goes around. I have to put the pin back in for it. And that spring was in that cotter pin right there. So, let me install my snap ring and we'll get back to this. Now, as you can see, I've got my second snap ring started. So, I'm going to do this one. I think this is going to be an easy way to do it. Just tap the thing down with the hammer until it hits. Of course, I'm going to need two hands to do this, but you get the idea. I'll be right back. Okay, now I've reattached my springs. This one here goes here. You can see the wire in the hall where it's rode at. And that one's back where it goes. And I've got my pulley put back on for my band, my pin for my band brake here. 
So next we'll put it on and reinstart the cotter pin. Okay, now my cotter pin and, and my cotter pin and this pin's reinstalled on the new band brake. So spacers. And the band brake drum, which just drops in here, like that. And now you just take your band brake, a little gas, put it in gear, because that'll take take most of the tension off of it, and hook her up. This piece right here goes in these holes. And that's what stops your blade when you turn your blade off. I'll need two hands for that. I will be right back. Okay, now that my springs are back in and my band brake is on, as you can see, now I'm ready to start putting this top pulley back on. Okay, the newer style pulley, the spacer is separate. The older style pulley, this pull, the spacer was built onto the pulley. So, we put our spacer on, put our pulley on, put our washer on, and this blankety blank nut This is a lock. Oh, this is a lock nut. No wonder that son of a bitch was such a pain in the butt to get off when it was seized. But I guess you wouldn't want this to come off, that's for sure. But that goes back on. Thus, of course, it's going to fight the whole way back on. But we'll get that buttoned up, and that gets our deck done. Now we'll be back. Okay, now, my nuts torqued down. And this beast is ready to go back on the lawnmower. I just gotta put the blade back on it. We're getting there, slowly but surely. Okay, let me show you a little trick I just learned. I know filming the yard and the bicycle is not it. If you look down in here, there's a little cotter pin that that spring hooks into. If that cotter pin is backing out, that spring will rub your band brake. As you can see, I've pulled the cotter pin back out and bent it. Now it clears. No spring rubbage. So this deck is almost ready to go back on the lawnmower. It just depends on how I want to do it. If I want to put the blade on before I put it on the mower or put the blade on last. And I'm leaning towards putting the blade on last. So, I believe I'm going to call it a day. As you can see, it's starting to get kind of dark outside. That's my Raleigh M80. Love my mountain bike. I ride it way too much. But, we'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully, we'll get this project done. Hello, I'm back. It's kind of dark. Sorry, the lighting sucks. But I'm reattaching the deck to the snapper. Oh, it holds this deck on the front here. Is right in here you got this bar right here. It goes all the way across. Comes out the other side. It goes through the ears on the deck. And you got a little cotter pin that holds it in place. As you can see. Right here is the other end of it just has a circlip. There's the ears to the deck and the holes on the lawnmower. Now, we're gonna go back here, reattach your deck chains. Nothing to this. You see your chain. You lift it up. I can't do it with one hand. So I'll be right back. Now, both sides of my chains are back on. My front is back on. I was thinking maybe you could get a better view of that bar. 
Okay, there, there's the ears on the deck, and there's the bar going across at the very top of the picture. See it there? This right here. This is what holds in your deck, right here. This bar right here. Goes all the way across. It's put in from one side to the other. Tighten down the clamp. The little cotter pin, and you're good to go. Two chains on the back, the deck's on. Now I just have to do the belt. But it's getting too dark to see. So I think I'm going to either run the light or give up for the night. Let's see. Turn my cutter off. Add my belt stuck up here to get it out of the way while I was getting the getting the deck up under here. Okay, now my belt isn't down on my pulley. If you can see it back there. What I'm trying to accomplish. So let me get that straightened out and I'll be right back. Okay, now, as you can see, my, I'm on the pulley back here. I've got the pulley on up here. So all I have to do is pull the saddler pulley. Run my belt back around it, and it'll be good to go. Let me get some tools, and I will get that done. Okay, now, as you can see, my, I'm on the pulley back here. I've got the pulley on up here. So all I have to do is pull the saddler pulley, run my belt back around it, and it'll be good to go. Let me get some tools and I will get that done. Hello and good morning. When I left off last night, I was putting the blade, the, uh, the belt back on. As you can see, I've got the pulley back on. Cutter handle. So that tightens it, loosens it, ready to go. Now, I need to put my lawnmower up on its end and we'll attach the blade. Okay, now my blade is attached. It attaches with two bolts and nuts. Here, there's the nut. Bolt comes in this way. Same thing on the other side. Nut back here, they're three quarter inch. Just like I showed you in my maintenance video for the Series 18, that's how the blade attaches. You can see here my nuts coming down from the spindle that I put on. You can see the nut goes on the bottom, the bolt comes in from the top. Like I said, take this thing to the shop to get that top pulley nut off. What I originally did is I took a 2x4, wedged it up in here. If I can get it to focus on this, it's lighting's kind of bad being early morning. But I took a 2x4 wedge display and I used that pipe right there. See that pipe with the bent end? And a big wrench try to pop that nut loose on the top and I bent my blade and it still didn't come off so if you're doing this job yourself take it to someone with an air tool and have them zip that top nut off on that pulley on the top of the deck because it won't pay you'll have more in the new blade than you would to pay the guy at the gas station now let's lay her back down and try to level this deck out I'll be right back now I've got my lawnmower back down on its tires and I'll show you how to level your deck here. As you can see on this, these old lawnmowers, they don't have the screw thing here. There's no adjustment here. What you can do is you can bend these arms slightly to level it side to side. See the newer ones have an adjustment up there on that ear. This one don't. This one's old. The only other adjustment on this deck is right here. Take his cotter pin out, take his pin out, loosen the nut, and this adjusts your front end of your deck, the height of it. That's all the adjustments that are on this one. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll be back. Believe it or not, checking the adjustment out with the tape measure 
seems to be pretty dang close so I didn't actually adjust anything on the deck of this mower so we're going to start it up and do a function check make sure my blade starts and stops as it ought to and we'll mow a couple swaths in the yard and see how she looks okay I've already checked the oil in this unit it's full gas it's got a little bit in it I'm not going to see it if I get the camera at the right angle. But trust me, there's a little bit there. I've already checked the oil. Being an old snapper with a new engine, choke is stop. And stop is choke. So, let's see if we can get this thing to start. see with the lighting but I mowed this section a yard let's get over here in the sun and see it looks pretty dang good so I'm gonna call that done I will tell you be sure to get enough torque on this nut right here I happened to look down at one point when I first started running it and I could see metal shavings shooting out of there and the pulley was slipping because that nut was not tight enough. So you do want to torque the heck out of that nut. Now once I torqued it, it ran great. So now I'm ready to put the cover back on and button this thing up. So here's my cover. These things are always persecuty. Lower your deck down all the way, that'll help you. Line up your handle. Have to work it into position. Right there it is. Put your four bolts in. I'm missing one. See that that one I've been missing for years. I don't know where it's at. I never had it. We'll put it that way. Grandpa lost that one. Coming back on this old lawnmower, why I've sunk so much time and effort into it. I know I have in it at least double what it's worth. Hell, I could have probably bought a new one for what I have in this one. But as I alluded to early in the video, this lawnmower is from the early 70s, late 60s. When I was a child, my grandfather, who passed away in 2010, bless his heart, used to ride me around on his knee on this very lawnmower. And when I was a kid, if I was really good, he'd let me ride it around the yard. So it's the first thing I ever drove, which is kind of cool. 
somebody could tell, as I said in the beginning of this video, if somebody could tell me the date on this thing, I would love to know it. The engine, of course, is not original. But I got better lighting, so there's a good picture of the serial number tag. It's a 3080, which is a Series 0. I know that much. But if somebody could pin down a date for me more, I would greatly appreciate it. Leave me a comment, email me, smoke signals, whatever you gotta do. Anyway, the so deck spindle's up and running. As you can see, she's mowing really nice. Looks like a golf course. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my bad one, and I hope you learned something. And hopefully you think my old lawnmower is as cool as I do, although I don't think it's possible. Thanks for watching. More to come later. I just have to torque him four volts down, and this baby's buttoned up.